All right, if you struggle with osteoporosis, there may be a treatment out there that you're not aware of that could help. Joining us to talk more about it, Dr. Avital Harari. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, so let's first of all, what is osteoporosis? It's a thinning of your bones, a severe thinning of your bones that can increase your uh, fracture risk, basically. And it, of course, happens over time and with age, right? That's right, yeah. But there is something else with your thyroid gland, is that right? Parathyroid. That, okay, parathyroid. So yeah. you brought a you brought a prop, which <laughs> I, I love. Okay, so this is a thyroid gland, like the thyroid right here. That's yes, what this is. That's right. Right? And yeah. the parathyroid glands are these things on the back. Yeah, these little glands that sit on the back. Um, sometimes they're in other places, but for the most part, they're there. Yeah. Okay, and how is that related to osteoporosis? So these little glands, they produce what's called parathyroid hormone. It's a natural thing that your body does um, to regulate your calcium levels. So if, you're, if you don't take enough calcium in orally, it will... The hormone will then attach to your kidneys and your bones and your guts to kind of reabsorb the calcium black in the blood and normalize it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a, it's a normal function that we have, but if one or more of them become abnormal, it just continuously secretes parathyroid hormone where it would have stopped. And if it continues to do that, it can start thinning, thinning your bones. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I have osteoporosis, does that also mean that I for sure have a problem with these parathyroid glands or no. not, not always? Not always, not always. And in fact, there's several other risk factors that can be attributed to osteoporosis, uh -huh. like you know, medications that you take, too much thyroid hormone, hyperthyroidism, um, right. steroids, things like that, um, and even a family history. But these can be, a certain percentage will have a problem with their parathyroid glands, and if you don't screen for it, you wouldn't know. Interesting. Okay, so if I have osteoporosis and I've kind of checked all the other boxes and it doesn't feel like any of those things are the cause of it, how do I go to my doctor and say, can you check my parathyroid gland? I mean, yeah. that sounds like a weird thing to no, say. No, you can absolutely just say exactly that. Really? Right. That sentence, say, I heard that these parathyroid glands can sometimes cause osteoporosis. Um, do you mind screening me for a disorder related to them? And they should know what that means. Okay, and then what happens if it does come back, you do the screening, you do the test, and it comes back these little glands, a couple of them, one or more, is abnormal. Then what is the process to correct it? So usually it's surgical. You want to go to an expert who does parathyroid surgery, uh, like myself or other people. There's uh, the American Association of Endocrine Surgeons has a whole list of people who can treat this. And we basically remove the abnormal glands. If you're fit to undergo surgery, if you're very unhealthy and you cannot undergo any surgery, then there is a medication, but it doesn't help the bones as much as mm -hmm. it does the other things that parathyroid disease causes. Okay, so if these, we go through the surgery and the little glands are removed and, and you know, all's great, then what happens? Is my osteoporosis cured? No. So okay. what happens is by the time you get to osteoporosis, it's pretty thin boned. Um, you're already past the middle stage, which is osteopenia. Um, it should, though, halt the progression of the disease. It should stop it from progressing. And for the majority of patients who undergo parathyroidectomy, uh, it should start to regress slowly. At least, I mean, on average, at least 12% improvement over time. Okay. Just before we even get to the surgery, um, is there something, I mean, generally that people can do now to prevent osteoporosis? I mean, I always hear like drink milk, exercise. I mean, is that, is that what I'm, is that what I should be doing? I think that's a good, those are good things. Calcium, okay. exercise, weight bearing exercises. I think if you're concerned about it, definitely talk to your primary care physician. Mm -hmm. um, there are certain things you can't change like being a woman, being postmenopausal, that's just a higher risk for increased Osteo. thinning and osteoporosis, your family history. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think just speaking with um, your primary care, get screened for it if you think that you might be at risk for it. And so that means a DEXA scan. And um, if you have it, then seeking out an expert like an endocrinologist who might um, treat it. And some primary care physicians are good at treating it as well. All right. Yeah. Good information. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm You're welcome.